by morning, Okuchi was awoken by a loud scream coming from her husband. She opened her eyes and met her husband, who was now a tiny little man, standing on their bed. Agu was so devastated as he wondered what could have happened to him. Once upon a time, in a very quiet village, lived a beautiful woman named Okuchi. Okuchi was a well-respected seamstress, known for her unique designs and vibrant fabrics. She was married to a man named Agu, a handsome, charming man, who worked as a trader in the city's busy market. Their marriage was filled with love and laughter, and they were admired by all who knew them. However, as the years went by, Agu's eyes began to wander. Despite his love for his wife, Okuchi, he was tempted by the many faces in the market, from the young women selling spices to the ladies who frequented his stall. His heart began to stray from his wife, driven by a promiscuous spirit that he found difficult to tame. Okuchi's heart ached as she heard stories of her husband's adventures with other women. Her friends and neighbors began to pity her and this brought Okuchi so much sadness. She confronted her husband one early morning and Agu, instead of feeling remorseful, informed Okuchi of his decision to take on a second wife. He told her that he needed to spice up his life with a younger looking woman and that Okuchi should ready her mind to share their home with the woman he planned to marry. His words struck Okuchi like a double-edged sword as she could not believe that her husband was planning on taking on a second wife. They were barely three years into their marriage and Okuchi had just given birth a few months ago. She wondered if it was because of her weight that her husband was seeking to take on a new wife. So Okuchi began to take walks to lose the weight she had put on due to childbirth. One evening, whilst Okuchi was taking her walk, a young beautiful woman named Chinenye approached her and called her some funny name saying that she now sees the reason why Agu could no longer stand his wife and was pushing to marry another. Chinenye laughed at how fat Okuchi was, calling her an ugly old woman. But Okuchi said no word to her. Okuchi could not believe her ears as she stood there, face to face, with the woman who her husband was about to get married to. Unwilling to engage in any form of conflict with the strange woman, Okuchi turned away and began to walk, her silence more powerful than any words she could have ever uttered. She arrived home sad as she locked herself in her room and began to cry. As she was crying, she heard a loud bang on her door and realized that her husband Agu had returned. Agu seemed so agitated as he approached Okuchi in the room. Without saying any word, Agu gave Okuchi two hot slaps on the cheek as he asked what gave her the effrontery to beat up the woman that he was going to marry. Okuchi, shocked at the allegation, tried to explain herself when Agu gave her another slap on the face saying that nothing she would do would stop him from marrying the woman that he wanted to marry. Okuchi, knowing that she was innocent, sat on her bed and began to cry. She could not believe how Agu, a man who once worshipped the ground that she walked on, changed completely towards her. Okuchi then decided to focus on the things that made her happy which were her business and suckling child. As the weeks went by, Agu's attitude towards his wife worsened. He returned home late and even stopped eating his wife's food. Agu returned home one night and informed Okuchi of his plans to visit Chinenye's family to conduct her traditional marital rites. He told Okuchi to prepare some delicious meals on the said day to welcome Chinenye into their home and warned her 
never to make any form of trouble with Chinenye, as doing so would mean severe consequences. Agu's words were like daggers to Okuchi's heart, but she held her composure with the dignity that had now become her only ammo. His appalling attitudes towards her troubled Okuchi greatly as she resolved within herself to do something about it. On the eve of Agu's traditional wedding to Chinenye, Okuchi waited up for her husband to return. He returned late in the night and Okuchi served him his favorite meal. Agu was so delighted as he munched on the food like his life depended on it. Once he was done eating, Agu fell into a very deep sleep. Whilst he was asleep, his wife Okuchi went into her bag and brought out her grandmother's amulet, which was passed down to her by her grandmother, a once powerful woman in their village. Okuchi spoke into her grandmother's amulet, pouring out her heart as tears gushed down her eyes. She told the amulet to heal her broken heart and save her marriage as she could not stand her husband getting married to another woman. Once she was done burying her heart into the amulet, she returned it into her bag and went straight to bed. By morning, Okuchi was awoken by a loud scream coming from her husband. She opened her eyes and met her husband, who was now a tiny little man, standing on their bed. Agu was so devastated as he wondered what could have happened to him. Why am I so small? He screamed at the top of his voice as Okuchi pretended not to know what was happening. Deep down in her heart, she was so excited as she knew that Agu would be unable to carry on with the marriage in his current state. Everything in the house, including his wife, were now extremely big and Agu struggled to navigate his way around his own house. He was now at the mercy of Okuchi who did everything for him. After several hours, Okuchi heard a loud bang on her door. It was Chinenye who looked so furious as she screamed out in anger. Where is that your useless husband? She asked Okuchi who stared at her blankly without uttering any word. He thinks that he can use me and dump me on our wedding day. She said angrily as she went on to reveal that she was never in love with him to begin with. Chinenye revealed that she was only marrying Agu because of his money and was pleased that the wedding did not hold. Chinenye said so many horrible things about Agu, including the fact that his money was the only attractive thing about him and that he was a foolish man for thinking that she would ever love someone like him. Agu stood in the corner as he listened to the hurtful words of a woman who he almost got married to. He regretted all the times that he maltreated his wife because of Chinenye and was glad that he never married her. As the days went by, Okuchi carried Agu in her handbag wherever she went. Agu, now tiny and powerless, could only look up at his wife from the depths of her handbag. He was able to witness how the people sympathized with his wife Okuchi and the disdain they felt towards him because of how badly he treated her. Day after day, Agu's heart was now filled with regret as he never knew how his actions had affected the woman that he truly loved. As days turned to weeks, Agu began to see the world from a completely different perspective. He witnessed the valiant strength of Okuchi who cared for him despite his little size. Her kindness did not waver for a minute and Agu regretted all his past actions towards her. Seeing the change in her husband, Okuchi decided it was time to offer Agu a second chance. She spoke into the amulet again, reversing the enchantment. As the sun rose the next day, Agu was shocked to realize that he had returned to his original size. He fell to his knees, overwhelmed with gratitude, as he apologized to his wife for all that he put her through. Okuchi, my wife, my queen, he cried. You have opened my eyes to the folly of my ways. I am eternally grateful for your wisdom and the second chance you have given me. 
I vow to be true to you, as you have shown me the true meaning of love and commitment. Okuchi, on hearing her husband's sincere apology, hugged him tightly as she forgave him for all the terrible things he had done to her. True to his word, Agu became a devoted husband, never straying from his path again. Their love was renewed, stronger and more profound than ever before. A testimony to the power of forgiveness and the magic of second chances. And so, Okuchi and Agu lived the remaining of their days united, not just by love, but by the profound lessons learned from his journey in her handbag. The lesson to be learned from this story is that, oftentimes, we never know the value of what we have till it's gone. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Learn to water and care for your grass, as most often than not, that which seems more enticing than what you have can end up harming you greatly. Always appreciate the people in your life and cherish the moments you have together as life in itself is short. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.